All right, guys, um, so I'm going to take you through how to model your floor plan of your house. So again, we're not worrying about quite yet. We're not worrying about any doors, um, windows. We're just we're just going to put in walls <clears throat> and then extrude them. So. Basically, we're going to start out, create a document, and name it uh, House Floor Plan. So the house is going to be completely empty. It's only going to have um, the walls around it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So. For this, we're going to use uh, some different units. So go into workspace units, and we're going to use feet. Check it off. And we're going to be looking down on our floor plan. So I'm going to click sketch, and then I'm going to select the top plane. So a uh, quick way to get to the top we're just gonna click on top over here and then I'm in that top plane so then I'm gonna start with just constructing my lines and following along on the um, the floor plan that I made I'm gonna start drawing my line And that's so since it's in feet, it opened in millimeters, so that's why it's so it's so small right now. Um, I'm going to dimension this out. So the hot key for dimension is D, or you can click this um, tool right here. So if you hit the key D, and then click on the line, bring it out. And my first wall is 20 feet. And then it actually goes into another wall, which is 14 feet. So you can just add those together. Um, and instead of zooming in and out, I'm just going to click on top again. And notice I have a long line of 34 feet. I'm going to create another line going horizontally in the other direction. Hit escape and then dimension this line. And this line is going to be 16 plus 22 which is 38 and I encourage you guys I mean it's always good to know uh, quick math but it's also good to be 100% accurate so I know I'm going to get the right result when I'm putting in the additions right so I encourage you guys to use that Use the additions and multiplications in, in um, when you're dimensioning. So now I have another wall coming down. That is 14 and 14, which gets me to 28. So I'll put it about at what it is. Dimension this out. 28 feet. Click on top. And now I'm going to bring a line out from here that is 16 feet. And another line from here. I 
that. And another line from here. And then I'm just going to trim this excess. So to trim, I'm going to type in the letter M. And that brings up trim. So M is the hotkey. If I didn't know this was trim and I was looking for trim, I could click Alt C and then search up trim and trim this extra piece here. So now I got the outside of my house. Um, exterior walls have, they're, they are generally five and a half, they're a little bit over five inches. So I'm actually going to offset all of these by five and a half inches. Um, because these are the, my exterior walls. So, and then on the interior, I'm going to offset all my interior walls by four and a half inches. So, I'm going to actually type in offset because I can't recall the um, hotkey for that. So offset and it's O. So now I will recall that because that's pretty easy. Um, and now I'm going to click all of the exterior walls. And since I'm making measurements from the inside of my house, right, I'm going to offset these to the outside. And since it's super, super small, I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put, so since we are in feet, right, um, you can, we could do percentages of a foot, but that's going to be, that's going to be a little tricky. So I'm just going to put four, oh, I meant 5.25 in. And then zoom out. And hit top again so I get in the middle. And now my offset, right, is um, five and a quarter inches. Five and a quarter inches. So from here, I got my exterior walls. Right, so I am going to start creating my interior walls that I measured out and start with a line. And this line actually goes all the way to the other side of my house. And I'm going to dimension it from the front of my house and oh wow well, that's close it's 20 feet and this wall continues to here um, And I have another wall here, about here. And dimension that to 16 feet. And dimension This wall actually continues a little bit longer, um, but there's a hallway there. And that hallway is 3.5 feet.
and these dimensions. This one's about three feet. Actually, it's about two and a half feet. And this is 3.5 feet. Oop. Putting too many dimensions in here. Okay. So if that happens, it just means you're over-defining something given the, the uh, geometry. So just exit out and then control Z. So the reason why this was um, getting this one was getting overdefined is because the computer, the program already knows what this has to be. Because we have 38 feet here, all along here. We have a 16 foot marker here, and we have a 2.5 foot marker here. So it it knows that this has to equal um, 6 minus 2.5. So it knows this needs to equal 3.5 feet. It isn't fully defined though, because it doesn't know the distance between this wall and this wall. So to find that, I'm just going to go out here and make that an eight foot stretch. So from here, I have my interior walls. So I'm going to offset my interior walls again so by hitting the O and I'm going to start clicking um, all the walls I want to offset and when I'm clicking I'm also wherever you made your measurements right the wall needs to continue on in the other direction so this is my kitchen in here. I made the measurement from this wall to this wall. So in order for me to have a four, uh, in order for me to have the correct depth of wall, I need to continue this thickness this way. And I'm wondering if I can change this now so we're doing 4.5 wondering if this works too no that doesn't work inches and i'm going to just continue building this wall building these walls from outside in so click on this guy go now uh, it looks like i'm gonna have to go around is there a way to do a chain no. All right. Um, again, I'm learning with you guys, so it is what it is. Um, offset this line the other direction. Four point five inches. Oh, that'll be easier. Point three seven five is four and a half inches so I'll just do that oh this will be way easier so you can select chains um, and uh, can only offset a single chain at once Okay, so let's try that again. This chain with this. No, that's not going to work. All right. We'll just go. We'll just go one by one. So 0.375. And another chain.
So that looks pretty good. So now that I have my overall floor plan of my little apartment, um, I'm going to start trimming and making sure all the walls are connected but they don't have lines like this in between them. So I'm going to go to the trim function, which is M and not T, M for trim. I guess they're really uh, focusing on the M sound of trim. Um, and I'm just going to go around and Trim all the parts of the walls that overlap. And the rules for the um, the wall thicknesses are like kind of like a general rule of thumb. You can have thicker exterior walls. Um, interior are typically four and a half, but you can have you can have different because of the plaster and um, the drywall and the um, the two by fours that are your studs. That adds up to be about four and a half inches. Um, but the exterior walls can be different because you can have different uh, insulations. You can have different, um, if you had rock or you had uh, brick, um, you would have more to the wall. So this is, again, this is just kind of your, your typical, like, average. Um, keep going. And just hit, hitting that top is easier. It just zooms you right out. And I think I have everything. So I'm going to... Um, well, this is actually a closet right here. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to close this off. In that. All right, cool. So I think we are good. And what we want to do now is to extrude the walls up. So I'm going to extrude. And we're adding. And we're going to make it eight feet. Oops. What the heck happened? Um, 
and add merge scope merge with all get I guess uh, face of sketch blind eight feet Solid. Oh, new. New, not add. Okay, so add would be if you were adding on to an additional structure and you're extruding from that. Since we had no structure and no extrusion, we are not adding from that. So, all right. So that's, um, that's what I want you guys to do to figure out today create a floor plan of your house and um, just the walls right just the walls and then I got some cool stuff we're gonna do with it uh, tomorrow so this is what I expect you guys to get done today <laughs>